recording. Grandma washing her hands. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Grandma washing the blood off of the cleaning board. Yeah, this is going to be really grizzly. This will be gross. So that's kind of bloody and nasty. You may not want to eat fish after this, but oh, this is yeah. the way you do it. This is, tastes really good. Mm -hmm. When they're done, Grandma's cleaning crappie. Today is December 31st, 2010. I didn't mm -hmm. set the camera. And if you'll notice, the fish are still alive. But not for long. Oh yes, they're alive when you get done with them even. Shh, shh. Okay, uh, notice that the knife blade, first of all you want to have a very, very sharp fillet knife. And you want the blade to do the work. You don't have to use a lot of muscle. You just slide the blade back and forth. And the blade's pointed towards the fish's head. And then you turn it back towards the tail, right at the corner, right there. And you hold him down, and you take little short strokes, and you want to separate the mate from the backbone. You want to come right along the edge of his backbone. And you'll feel the ribs. The ribs are right in here. And you'll feel the ribs with the tip of your knife blade. And you just slide it along. And the fish's ribs stop about here. And then when you don't feel ribs anymore, then you slide the point of the knife all the way through. And keep the edge of your blade now turned down. And work it so you get the meat off all the way to the tail. And you can open this up and separate the rest of the fish from the ribs. You just kind of slide it carefully because you don't want to cut yourself. Carefully along the rib bones. You want to leave all the ribs and the intestines inside the fish. So when we're done we're going to have a nice neat little filet. And then, you're going to take this piece, see how I keep the uh, blade away from my hand. And there's the fish. And we're going to lay this piece. See, I've got skin on one side still. And I'm going to hold his tail down and use the knife blade again. You don't need to use a whole lot of force. You just slide it back and forth so you separate the skin from the meat fish. And there you have a nice little fillet. If you feel any bones with your fingers, you get rid of them. You cut them out. And you'll be able to feel any bones. When I get done with these fillets, I'm going to put breading on them and seasoning. And I'm going to lay them on a cookie sheet and freeze them. So that another day, when we want to have crappie, all we have to do is take them out of the freezer. And put them in a hot skillet and we've got what tastes like fresh crappie. Here's this little gill right there and I want to come behind the gill and again saw back and forth with my blade underneath the gill and then I turn my knife back towards his tail and I want to take that to the ribs. You can feel the ribs with the point of your knife. I'm trying very carefully not to cut myself because I would hate to show a video of Grandma cutting her thumb off. Would give you nightmares. And right about here I can go the rest of the way through. Now I'm using the point.
separate the filet from the ribs. the camera I'm, I'm trying oh, to you're hold, shaking yeah I'm trying to hold it steady I'm old and I shake <laughs> No bones. All that work from a little tiny piece of gold meat. Oh, but is it good? Oh, it tastes wonderful. Mmm, crappie are the best. That's how you do it. <laughs> 